First off, let's look at the oldest and sometimes the most secure location for placing our controls, and that's using a centralized authentication mechanism. Centralized authentication means that we're placing all of our controls in a single entity or at a single entity location, and those controls will control access to all of the objects. Now, doing it this way allows us for ease of administration. Obviously, if all the controls are placed on the same machine or on the same subnet, it's going to be a whole lot easier for us to get in and create new rules, take old rules out that may not be applicable any longer, and just maintain our access control list or our labels. Additionally, since we have centralized authentication and the administration is a lot easier, we can be very, very strict with our access control. Typically, when you want to go down to a very low level of granularity for access control, centralized authentication may work best because, again, you've got everything in one place and you can strictly control each one of the objects. However, it can be slower. Since we have one single entity that controls access to all objects, it can be a bottleneck. So be aware that with a large number of users, you might want to look at a system that's not purely centralized. And of course, looking at the third tenet of our CIA triad, recall confidentiality, integrity, and availability, there's a single point of failure when you have one entity controlling all authentication. If there is a failure in this authentication entity, then you'll have no access to the objects until that failure is resolved.